This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. In this particular video, quickly I'll tell you that how to use data files in WebDriver IO. So I have one scenario, let's see, you want to log in into the system. If you remember that we created this, we were launching the login application and we were entering the username password. You can see that, enter username, Thomas Smith, and enter password, super secret password. And then we were clicking on the login button. So if you want, I can show you quickly. So let me first uh, skip these. Okay, so let's run it. So this is the test, let's see, it will launch the login and it will enter the username password, right? Like this. So the username password we have hard coded over here. You can see that Thomas Smith I'm directly using and the password also I'm directly using. Let's say tomorrow you want to fill the form, you want to create a test data for that. So how exactly you will, you will create the test data files or data files? These data files can be used as a test data maintenance point of view or it can be used for your configuration point of view also. So how to do that? So for doing this, uh, I'm not going to use any Excel file or okay, anything over here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use simple JS javascript files so at the package level i mean at the project level what i'm going to do this is my project i'll be creating a separate folder let's see my folder name is a data folder data or let's see i'll rename it to test data okay or let me rename it to test data right this is the test data folder under this test data folder what i'm going to do I'm going to create a file and my file name is let's see login data.js and this particular login.js what I'm going to do I simply write the module dot exports is equal to curly brackets like this and here I'll have to give okay number of variables so let's see I'm giving my first variable username colon in single quotes or double quotes whatever let's see Tom Smith, comma, password variable, okay? And I'm giving some value, let's see password is, whatever the password you want to enter, super secret password, whatever I just copy paste here, super secret password, right? And the username is Tom Smith, Tom Smith. Right, so if you have want to have one some more variables, you can create like this. Okay, then I'll go back to my test script over here. Then here we have export. Now we have to import. So how will you import? I'll create one constant. This is my login data is equal to same require I'll be using. And then here I'll be using dot dot slash test data slash login data. So we have to import this particular file. When we import with the help of login data, what I'm gonna do, I'll just remove this hard coded value. I simply write login data dot, now you can access the username that you have already created over here, username. This will give you Thomas Smith, okay? Now same thing, I'm going to assert the same thing over here. So instead of this, remove the hard coded values like this. Now for the password, I simply write once again, login data dot password. Same thing over here, I'll be removing this guy. I simply write login data dot password and assert with dot get value and dot get value, right? So let's see it's working or not. So here I have removed the hard coded values and then let's see it's working or not. So let me clear the console and let's run it. NPM test hyphen hyphen spec, you can see, and slash test login test dot JS. So let's run it. Three test cases should be executed. So browser is getting launched. And uh, you will see, see, it's entering the username password, the exact username password, it's entering from there. Likewise, you can create some other data also, like guys, if you really want to do that. So whenever you want to fill the form, right? Whenever you want to fill the form, whenever you want to enter something, you can maintain multiple data over here. So let's see, this is for login data. Same thing, let's see, I'll give you one scenario. You go to this particular page so let's see this is your homework so for you what you need to do you need to go to this particular application you need to log in so login data should come from login test data.js after that 
Okay, let me okay, just uh, okay, let me get the let me get the password just a second. This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so you have to log into the application. You can create one username password. <laughs> and uh, when you log in, you have to come over here on contacts page. So go to contacts page and you have to click on create content and you have to fill this particular form. And this data you should enter from data file. The data, let's see contact.js file you create and fill this particular form. The moment, let's see, I write something over here. First name, let's see, test, last name, something like this job title, phone number, everything has to be picked from this particular JS file. So you have to create one JS file like that and uh, import the same JS file over here. So multiple JS file you can import, let's see login data, contacts data, deals data, and use the same thing over here with dot notation. So dot variable name, dot variable name, simple like this, you can use it, okay? So this is a simple thing, guys. You can simply do it in JavaScript. It's very straightforward. Simple create one JS file. It will behave like a key and value pair format, comma separated. Make sure there is no okay comma after that. Otherwise, it will not work. So last value after last value, you should not put a comma. Otherwise, all the key value pairs should be separated by a comma over here, right? So that's all for this particular video. I hope you guys are learning WebDriver IO, and very soon we will be creating a framework also end-to-end -end framework with the uh, WebDriver IO. So thank you so much, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you really like this WebDriver IO series. Thank you.